For two months, 11 seniors, five walkers, three canes, two iPads, and two laptops, plus one driver, departed Cedarville Lodge at 1.40 p.m. and arrived at Keswick High School each week fashionably late. So who's excited for today? Very yeah, excited. You excited, yeah? This is my first graduation. When I grew up during the war, there was no graduation. Not too many girls ever did go on to a higher education. Upon arrival, we were greeted by Doug wearing his air traffic control outfit and flagged into perfect docking position. From there, Doug and I unloaded five walkers, three canes, two iPads, two laptops each week and escorted them up the elevator where they were greeted by familiar smiling faces ready to teach their eager and excited seniors. Cyber Seniors is like, it's giving seniors the opportunity to use computers, considering today is such a technologically advanced world. The Cyber Seniors program, it's not so much about the cyber part. It's about getting students of teenage years working with folks who are much older and seeing how they develop relationships and use technology, but develop personal relationships. Well, I've been very curious about computers and I tried the one that we have here in the games room and I learned how to turn it on and turn it off and then one day I even got Google without knowing that I was doing it and I really got interested and then when I heard about this course that they were offering oh yes I'd like to do that. It was the opportunity to learn again and uh, being in a school setting was fun after such a long long time and uh, just being with these wonderful young people you know, I admire them so much. I'd like to be able to uh, send messages to my friends and particularly my son and then he could send them back to me and I could enjoy his too. You know when you think of it before it was airmail letters and then it was trunk calls and then phone calls with the phone numbers this long and now there they are anywhere. Does it matter if they're in France, Scotland, Ireland? They can call Kristen and Colin and see them and see the baby. So it's, it's a wondrous, wondrous thing. We went on Google Maps and I asked her for her address from her childhood home. And so we were able to go to the street view and look at it like, as if you were standing right in front of that. And she was really amazed by that. But that was the most exciting thing about I could be there. His reaction to Google Maps was it's like, I just love seeing him because he hasn't, he hasn't been there in 50 years. And he's, he's just all, he's happy, he's looking at, he gets to see Alaska again. Well, it feels awesome. It feels like you're, uh, you're just like the, the bridge between their past and now. They're all knowledgeable in so many different ways that we were never taught. I think one of the things we've learned is friendship. I can tell that he, he likes me and I like him. He's such a nice young lad. And what's happening is these kids are saying, I'm going to feel sad. Next week is the last day. They said, I'm sad and I want to start volunteering at Cedarville Lodge. And these kids are, are learning how good it feels to give back. I'm sorry it's over. <laughs> so it's been a joyous experience all around. We've learned, we've had fun, we've met nice young people. It's just opened a new world for me, really. I'm so enthusiastic about getting going. Watching my students grow as people, as leaders, and watching them learn about themselves, that is so rewarding as a teacher. Over a month ago, John could barely use a mouse and navigate the desktop. But now, he can use Google Maps, send emails with little guidance, and even navigate to YouTube. It's like when you, your kid goes off to college and you're sad, and you say, they grow up so fast. <laughs> That's how I feel giving John his graduation diploma. So as you all can see, the Cyber Seniors program is a lot more than just teaching seniors about the computer or following a trainer's manual. It shows us that friendship can be made regardless of age, 
and that is as important to youth as it is to seniors. It's a program that can show us all how vital the warmth of human connection really is in this day and age, and that we can bridge the gap between two very distant generations. So thank you very much.